this environmental flow has been bordering itself for last maybe uh, 10 years or so, very much. And the person who, who have work at the institution who work, I have been really some of the WWF, and, and uh, those are the areas where a lot of progress has been made in India, and they are here today. And uh, to be very frank, uh, as I told you sometime la last also, it's something like a, a, a paradox. There are things that are too, too vital for the country, too vital for our knowledge um, and understanding. Those are the areas that we do not study and teach in any other institution today. We, we, we have a time lag about maybe about our, our 10 or our 15 years to, to get into the textbooks. I think um, uh, it's, it's strange. Like even e-flow, uh, there's so much of a scarcity of um, uh, people knowledgeable on e-flow. There are very few. And mostly it is outside the academy. There are a few institutions, I'm sure. But these, these are outside the academy. They are academic, no doubt. Uh, Knowledge-based NGO which are doing it. And other institutions are doing it. So I think a lot of new knowledge are being created. That is really uh, 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 very much uh, like uh, suiting to my heart. All the time I see here. And people were taking up this whole uh, um, uh, new task of generating new knowledge, relevant knowledge, not bookish knowledge. So that group is, I think, uh, here. So some of that, uh, 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 represent of that group is there. Yes. Now coming to the uh, uh, e-flow, I think it, as a person dealing with the uh, water resources, uh, as a student of water resources, what um, um, what we closely were associated, the term that we closely associated uh, with long, was the low flow. Low flow study was a uh, uh, normal process, um, uh, way of analysis of um, the flow, and we did a magic number. The, what is the low flow? One single number was enough to to, to designate the entire river. That's how we go about it. And then these purely engineering uh, uh, procedures. But since my association was a little bit uh, in a country where uh, river conservation was a very high agenda, the high agenda in the United States, so my teachers were all the time discussing some areas of eco hydrology at, at that time without using the term. So they, they, they talk about ecology, they talk about how uh, the ecosystems are um, uh, getting, uh, uh, I think, um, impacted by various types of flow. And they do the measurements in the field also, we are involved also, but not knowing much. But coming back to India, I totally forgot. Again, I got, went to the physical part of it. And, uh, um, and uh, some of the concepts that, that were developed by civic, uh, in the civic, uh, physical study, like one uh, particular uh, uh, concept that emerged uh, uh, at the point where, uh, when I was uh, there. And, uh, now the teachers actually generated this concept, was a radical concept at the moment of time. That was something uh, about uh, about uh, uh, frequency and size of flows and the type of river landscape it creates. And it was a, it was a radical type of uh, 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 concept that they have developed. My own professor developed it. It was uh, very famous for that at the point. And it is non-conventional that he says. Say at the uh, I mean, major publication uh, that he say uh, he, he say that it is the it is the uh, relatively uh, low and moderate flow in the river that is that is more responsible for creating the river la landscape that we see rather than the large flows that are infrequent but which are massive. That means the the uh, flows that are um, that are of uh, uh, of large magnitude but lower frequency. That means very rare events of very large magnitude. They are less consequence to a river compared to the medium and lower flows that are more repetitive. The frequency level is high and whose magnitude is low. And it took long time to grasp it. The what they see in the case, case where there was the formation of a flood plate, the Side with um, uh, 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 river uh, belly, <coughs> they always relate to big events. The big event might have created this. Big events have done the first place, big events have created this, all that. But they didn't know. 
but uh, when we also try to uh, 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 use this in case of some award events, especially the Brahmaputra, I, I tried it, and I, I, I found that uh, even uh, uh, some work done, means getting sediment is also a work uh, being done. The, most of the work that is uh, done by the uh, river is done by this sustained medium and low flows, not by the very high flow that occur only once or twice in the year. I think uh, it has a lot of um, uh, ecological senses uh, uh, that was ingrained in them. We didn't understand that time. But slowly, over a period of time, uh, before emergence of the term, um, uh, because, uh, like a uh, uh, ecological flow, I think people have uh, realized uh, and uh, how it has uh, uh, ultimately developed into uh, 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 flow, ecological flow. I think at uh, that period of time, people were talking about something like a, uh, in, uh, in stream flows, outstream, in stream flows, uh, those that are part people are trying to travel into uh, the areas of environmental flow. It didn't happen in, uh, basically in one point of time. It has a, a, a history of growth. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, it took about 50 or uh, 40, uh, 50, 40 years before it took a present sale. But I think, meaningfully today, uh, uh, we can now capture. We, using the uh, environmental flow, we can uh, capture most, almost all the, all the processes that are there. Biological processes, physical processes, chemical processes that are in there. And this complex process is still a big, big selling to know. Understanding is there, but the, the implementation in regard to safeguarding uh, some, some of the ill effects of uh, tempering with that is not much more. That is the challenge for us. The only, at least the first step is over. Not over, first step we have progressed. And the other part has no problem. Now I think over in, in the next um, um, uh, few lectures, actually, we, uh, there will be a lot of progress on the te uh, technology involved in uh, techniques involved in it. And uh, there are several techniques I could see that uh, uh, the functional technique we will be using actually. Uh, 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 building block, uh, uh, there are, it started with a the first simple desktop type uh, things uh, at the beginning actually. And, and um, um, uh, then other others uh, uh, followed. But I, I tell you, from my own um, understanding, that uh, uh, there is no uh, such thing that the um, that, um, same uh, type of uh, uh, methodology will be applicable to same reverse, the same type of reverse <coughs> everywhere or uh, the same idea. It may have uh, been highly subjective. On the same reverse at different locations, in different segments, I think the validity of that uh, particular model you are using uh, will, uh, will be questionable. But there are areas where um, um, uh, on, a, on, a, um, on a longer um, um, stream, on a larger stream, I think ecological uh, 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 situations are very different. And the sociological aspect also is very important. The way you use the water, dependence of water and the, uh, the ecology will be different. So I think given all this, I think complex models, I, I, we have seen that computer, computer based models, I think, uh, they will be indicating, and, uh, uh, which are also uh, very uh, interesting new models, very complex models, trying to capture the complexity of the whole situation. But one experience that we had, part of us, we were trying to explore uh, uh, flow in a uh, Western Himalayan river, spending about a full se uh, season where we spent. And my, my question in the mind was uh, that what at the point of time is to look at the way people measure and at a uh, low flow, or uh, not the environmental flow, but uh, they call it the environmental flow, but basically it's a low flow measurement they are doing, and going to the rivers, the tributaries of the Alakananda and Alakananda itself, and uh, uh, during the low flow period, we tried uh, uh, to, uh, to do the measurement ourselves. And we find most of the matter that we use in measuring flow doesn't give us a good result. Why variation? You cannot put your current meter there. No way. And even if you put a current meter, I think the cross section that we have is so wide, with a lot of boulders here and there, hardly you can find a, a thing. We had a total station already uh, available to us. 
using the petrol station also, but the, the floor depth was so low, and the water was so um, like a rough, and the velocity radiation uh, 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 across the profile is so high that we stagnant pools somewhere in the same cross section. You have a shooting water here, you have moderate water here, and a pool here. And I, I know if you have a, if you take a, the average value for that, I think you do not uh, do it justice to that. And, uh, and the measurement is very difficult. Ultimately, we tried alternative methods as NGOs and we do. We also try to see how uh, how to develop the uh, develop a technology to measure the flow. Even uh, using tennis balls, which are tossed by flow, we need to use that. Ultimate probably, uh, we took a, um, a tennis ball, we injected water in the half filled water, which is a little stable. And then we talked to the people who are engineers who were, who were using that. I asked them, how did you do that? And you go for uh, some uh, third place, place of decimals. How is it possible uh, on this material? So much of variation. And we discussed about two, two cubic meters, one cubic meter, half a cubic meter. And I could see the variation that you do in a measurement. Uh, then uh, I will know that there is a lot of, I think, uh, uh, guess out there, a uh, lot of, uh, I think, a uh, little bit of an unscientific work involved there. And I, I will I request that the people who are involved here to start it from that point, to question the way that it's been built. Not the data that is available to us. We always, based on the data, we question it. I think but we have to look back in some, some of the work that has been already done. I think we have to go to, to see the methodology, the auditing of the methodology is very important. The way we have, we have been done in the field, we have not properly done, I, I see, see many things. And we should, we should develop, I think, some areas, but for the Northeast, I, I wish that is one or two rivers to do the measurements ourselves and make it, uh, use it as a model. Use it as a model. We should not wait for the government to prepare a model station for us. But in model one, we can do that, and that will be done probably uh, uh, some sort of uh, 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 example for others to follow. Uh, I think uh, these are some of my um, uh, uh, thoughts that, that came to my uh, uh, mind when I was uh, talking about it. I will be hearing yeah, more about it. But uh, uh, I feel that the environmental flow uh, 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 will, uh, will be in the, in the days to come, I think, uh, it, is slowly, it is slowly picking up. I think uh, it will uh, be a, a, a question of lot of discussion and debate you know, over the country. But my, my worry is about that, that we have, we have already generated a lot of data and taken decisions based on whatever data we generated. And we are still taking uh, very hard decisions, very, very strong decisions we are taking. Uh, using that data we have generated without following many of the things that we will be talking about here. And should we not, should we, should we not think for a while and what best we should do to incorporate this type of new knowledge into the type of uh, thing that we are going to do. <laughs>